If you're vaccinated and get a breakthrough infection, then it looks like you'll have a very robust antibody response and T cell response. A breakthrough infection is when someone tests positive for COVID after being vaccinated. There was a large number of breakthrough infections in Provincetown in July. The Provincetown outbreak included over a thousand infections in a highly vaccinated population, over 74% vaccinated. And there were over a thousand breakthrough infections, uh, almost all with the Delta variant. Uh, it was one of the first large, well-described clusters of uh, large numbers of breakthrough infections in a highly vaccinated population. And it also showed a number of interesting and important features, such as the fact that vaccinated people with breakthrough infections have substantial amounts of virus in the nasal swabs, and it contributed to CDC's decision to reinstitute indoor masking, as well as other things. Dan helped lead a study on the outbreak. Vaccinated people who get breakthrough infections generally have a mild course of disease in the vast majority of cases because they have a rapid onset of uh, very potent antibody and T-cell responses that likely control the virus. So I think that our data really puts a different perspective on the Provincetown cohort. Initially, it was viewed as evidence of vaccine failures. I would actually argue it's evidence of vaccine success. These vaccines are doing what they are intended to do. In many cases, vaccines are not gonna completely prevent infection. But what they will do is uh, they will have immune responses sitting there waiting so that if there is an exposure to virus, they will kick into high gear, they will expand, they will have very high responses that will rapidly eliminate the pathogen. And then quite honestly, these people then probably have high amounts of immunity for a long period of time. 